One of the important components uh, of our research at Columbia University is to try to find a mechanism of action for an herbal compound or a dietary supplement. And we often start out with cells growing in a petri dish. We can take cancer cells and expose them to different herbs and see if it regulates and turns off their cell cycle and their DNA synthesis. And sometimes we find claims and we find new mechanisms of action that we didn't expect. This may not drive this up to the level of the pharmaceutical at this point, but it's still important information, especially when we take this to the clinic and we take this to our human patients, where we then can develop new human clinical trials. It's important, I think, for us to look at all of this information and then determine which of the information is going to be applicable to a specific patient's situation. Not all patients will benefit from a particular herb. Some will benefit from one, and other patients will benefit from another or a multiple type of compound.